So for this video, probably gonna be a super short video because although I have a lot of things to show, usually haul videos go by super fast just because there's not really much to talk about about the clothing. I'm just kind of showing you everything. So I'm just gonna show you all the packages I got sent. Um, I got stuff sent from Killstar, Disturbia, uh, and Lunar Tides hair color as well as like other like things that I picked up throughout the week that are just kind of like random. But I think I'm gonna start out with Killstar and show you the first items that they sent me. So this is the first item I got sent. This is a um, drop from their new collection. It's kind of like this zip up belt vest type of shirt. It has this silver cross zipper in the middle and then it has these adjustable buckles. I already wore this in an Instagram picture um, and I really like this shirt. I just kind of had to tighten it a little bit because it was a little. Next, I have the matching skirt to that top. Um, so the thing with Killstar skirts is they're always super long on me, kind of like the awkward length where like it's right above your knee and it's not really like a long skirt, but it's also like not a mini skirt. I wish their skirts were a bit smaller. Um, I think this is like the standard length for everybody, but I just like to wear my shirts, my skirts, super short for some reason, um, like really, really short. I always wear shorts under my skirts anyways, but this is the skirt. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet. I think I'm gonna have to figure out a way to style this just because it is a little bit long on me and the waist might be a little bit too big. So I'll have to figure out a way to adjust that, but it's the same style, kind of like pinstripe. And then it also has these little belt loops and they sent me um, a cross chain to go in these belt loops and the buckles that you could tighten and then just the um, zip up down the middle. And they sent me this skirt as well. Um, I have worn this skirt. This one fits me a little bit better. It's like a, I don't really know how to explain the pattern on it. It kind of reminds me of like old Victorian pattern, but it has like this little crisscross string in the middle that's a velvet and then lace on the very bottom. I really like this skirt. The only complaint I have again is that it's a little bit too long, but this one's not as long as the other one. So I already wore this one and I really like it. And this is the stuff I received two days ago from them. This is from their newest, newest launch. Um, I have these jeans. These actually match my shorts that I um, got from the thrift store. So it's like ripped, but it has like gray ripping. So you can kind of see the rips a little bit better. Um, I really hope these fit me. I haven't tried these on yet, so I'm not sure how they're gonna fit. I think I asked for a size 23 waist or a 24 waist, but I, I honestly don't even know if they have a 23 waist, so they might've just sent me the small size that they have. Um, but regardless, I'll make them work. If they're a little too long, I'll cut them. And if they're a little bit too big, I, I can just wear a belt. And then they also sent me, I'm not really sure what this is. It's like a long sleeve top, but it's like sweater material and like corduroy, like soft suede material. It has this really cool zipper, this pointy black matte cross. I think I'm gonna wear this more as a dress. Um, and less of like a shirt, unless I style it with like leggings or something, but I think it would look a lot better as a dress rather than wearing it just as a shirt. Um, I'm probably just gonna wear this around the house too, just cause it's so comfortable, but I needed some more long sleeves in my collection. So I picked this one out from them. And I think that was all I got from Killstar. I think I'm gonna move on to what I got from Disturbia. This is the box it came in. I've already opened some of the things just cause I couldn't wait. But the first thing I got was actually the dress I'm wearing. I'll show it better in a different clip, but I got this, um, it's kind of like a baby doll style dress. The material is super thin and comfortable, kind of like almost silky. 
and it has like these larger what are, like puff sleeves i don't know i don't know they're just kind of like larger sleeves so you could kind of wear it off the shoulder but i decided to just wear it like this um and it has like the little cinch under under the boob area and i actually really like this dress this dress fits me like perfectly now i'm gonna show you the stuff that i already opened i picked this out because I think it would just be cool to have a bathing suit, but like honestly, I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna wear this anytime soon because like we don't have a beach near us and we also don't go to public pools. So I don't know, maybe I'll just wear it for fun and take photos in it, but it's this um, skull one piece bathing suit. It has little teeth and little sparkles on it. And then it also has like the half skull. And this is the back. It's like a wide open back. I have the underwear matching this. And with things like that, I don't really know how I'm going to like promote it because like I don't just post like bare pictures of my underwear. And I don't go to the beach. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to like put this together and like see what I can do. But I really liked it and it's always good to have a bathing suit. You know, just in case we go on a vacation, which I don't think we'll be doing anytime soon. But in the future, this will come in handy. All right, let's go into, okay, this is what I opened it earlier and I wanted to talk about it because I thought I was really gonna like it and then it didn't fit me. So this is kind of like a corset style. What kind of material is this? Like fake leather? Yeah, probably, uh yeah, it's kind of like fake leather. This was supposed to be like a um, like a corset style where you put it around and it kind of like cinches your waist. I was gonna wear it with this dress today and I even like tightened these parts. And then when I go to tighten this part, that's as thick as it, or as far as it goes. So I still have all this room in here and I would prefer for it to be like this cause it's supposed to be like a corset style top, you know? Like it's supposed to cinch your, your waist in or like, yeah, like grip your body a little bit tighter. I don't know if they have sizes in this. I honestly don't even remember picking this out. Um, I thought it was a purse at first. Uh, I would definitely wear this if it was a little bit smaller on me, but maybe I'll uh, gain some weight and be able to use this one day, I really hope, because I like the concept and the idea of it, but Unfortunately, I cannot wear it because it's a little bit too big for me. Okay, and now we'll move on to the stuff that I haven't opened yet. Um, some of this stuff I don't even know what it is. Like, I don't know what this is, so let's open this. What is this? Oh yeah, I do remember this. This is a long sleeve style shirt. So with this type of shirt, as you can see, it only ties. So it's like open completely in the front and then it only ties at the very top and you're supposed to wear this without a bra. Um, I have worn a shirt like this before that I got from Urban Outfitters like three years ago, but I already sold that. But I think this one is gonna be super cute for when it starts to get a little bit colder, kind of like fall time. Not winter because, you know, I probably won't be wearing a bra under this, but it's a long sleeve and the material is pretty breathable. So I'm excited to wear this one. I remember picking this one out. Oh yeah, I've been wanting this shirt, but they've been sold out. So I asked if they could send it to me. It's just this like basic black. Um, what kind of material is this? I have no idea. It's just regular. I mean regular fabric but i don't know just, it's a it, pattern different yeah as you can see it has like a lot of sundresses have this style of fabric and then the back has like this little uh, stretchy cinching part um i don't even know if these come undone oh yeah they do so these come undone these little brackets it doesn't have adjustable straps which i find kind of concerning because i don't know a lot of people's shoulder lengths are different so like sometimes you'll have to tighten it a lot to make it look good or you'll have to like loosen it quite a bit just to make it fit you but I haven't tried this on yet we'll see when I get it on how it fits but I got this in a UK size 6 because Disturbia goes by UK sizes 
So I get everything in the smallest size. I don't even know what it converts to in American sizes. I just hope for the best. And then I've been seeing a lot of girls wearing this one on uh, Instagram. This one looks very big for some reason. Anything? I think it'll fit you. The arms look super big to me. Um, and they don't have adjustable straps, but this says um, recently deceased. This just reminds me of Beetlejuice, and that's why I wanted it. I think they have matching pants to this, but I really wanted a tank top. And I'll probably wear this to bed, to be honest with you, just because it's so comfy. Mm -hmm. But I got this. And then I have one more thing from them, I think. Yes, I don't know what this is. Another skirt. What do you think? Pretty. So, can't even really see the material, but it's like this dark blue kind of dark green plaid skirt. This material is way um, thinner and like more breathable than the Killstar one, but they're like good in their both ways. Um, I haven't tried this on yet. I got this in a UK size six as well. As you can see, it has like these little, I don't know if these are things to put belt loops in, like Killstar has, but regardless, this has a belt loop. Um, built in if you needed it. This is a zip up in the back and I don't know, it might be a little bit too long for me, but we'll see. I might wear it like super high waisted just because a lot of things don't fit me very well, but I'm super short and also I can't gain weight. So it's hard for things to fit me. Okay, that's it from Killstar and Disturbia. I'll show you what I got sent from, um, let me cover that. Lunar Tides hair color. Um, recently, Arctic Fox sent me a box and I already had a remaining hair color from Lunar Tides, but then they offered me more and I was like, yeah, why not? Like it doesn't really it's hurt cool. to get more. Yeah, the packaging is super cool. Um, they sent me six colors. Uh, came with some little stickers and stuff and a little brush. And I got another juniper green because I want to kind of stay at um, this green for a while. So I got another juniper green to kind of touch my hair up. Um, I don't know what color I want to go next, but the good thing about it is Kane has half of his hair dyed, so we can always use him to test these colors out. He's just a little bit more, I don't know, his hair washes out faster because he washes it pretty much every day. But I got periwinkle. Let's see, can you see that? Periwinkle, it's like this mix of like purple and dark blue. Do you think, what do you think it yeah. leans more towards? Purple. Both, huh, like in the middle? Nice. So I got periwinkle, blue velvet. I think this is the color I wanna go next. It's like a really dark navy blue. You can't even see it because it's basically almost black. And then I got silver lining because I thought maybe one day it would be cool to go like a dark gray. What do you think? Yeah, you don't have to still put your hair well. I know. Dark gray would be really cool to go to, but this is like a really late thought, you know? Like, I'm not thinking of going into that color anytime soon. I got amethyst purple. It's kind of like the color Karen has in his hair now. I show them. Oh, me? Yeah, look. Yeah, it's kind of similar to the color he had when it, like we first put it in, but this one's a little bit lighter, so... That one, and then Petal Pink, which is, I did not know this was gonna be that pink. Yeah, that's really healthy. I've gone this pink before, and I don't know if I'll ever do this pink again, but I might mix it with other colors to yeah. make another cool color. With the gray. Yeah, with the gray, make like an ashy type of pink. But that's what I got from Lunar. Ah. Oh my God, did she bite you? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I got from Lunar Tides, her color. And then I wanted to show you guys what Kane got me from Trader Joe's. My sister actually sent me these and she told me that they were gonna have, me have these at Trader Joe's soon. But it's a little skeleton with some crazy hair doing yoga. And do they have a bunch of other poses, or is it just no, this pose? No, it's just that pose. Oh, so they only have one pose, but he's super cute. Yeah, and this says they sell out on me. Really? And then at Home Goods, my sister's wanting me to spend money. She sent me this as well, and I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller than it was. Um, 
but I mean regardless it's pretty cool this was 40 bucks I wish I could plug it in to show you guys but I don't have like an outlet near me um, this is the bulb it's a super huge bulb I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find that bulb once it burns out but um, to be honest with you it's pretty cheaply made like it's not heavy or anything you think it flip for like 40 bucks it would be kind of like I mean, 40 bucks is pretty cheap for something brand new like this People. I don't know, $40 is a lot. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. And it makes the room look like it has a sunset in the nighttime. So we only said we're gonna use this in the nighttime because it looks really cool at night. And we just went to Spencer's. I wasn't really expecting to get anything from Spencer's. I was expecting to get stuff from Hot Topic because I thought they were gonna have their Halloween skirts in stock, but they didn't. So then I just figured since we're renting this place and I like, we can't really do damage to the walls or anything. Our last house, we kind of like really didn't give a fuck because the house was already fucked up. So we were like, let's just like nail holes everywhere. <laughs> but um, I got some posters because I figured it's easy to just like, okay, my uh, camera died, but I'm opening this poster to show you guys. Can you help me a little bit? Okay, let me see. Shall we get the... This is the first one. Who's this by? Sinister Labels? Yeah. And it's little rats holding all their eyeballs. I thought this one was sold out, but of course no one in my town is gonna buy this. Like, who the fuck's gonna buy this and put it up in their room? This is a really cool poster. I'm excited to put posters up all around our room because they're so easy to put up and take down. They're not gonna cause any like damage to the walls or anything. So it's just a cool way to make our room look good, you know? Got that one. The next one, what did I get? Beetlejuice? Mm. Why do these make these so hard? To it's still, they said that you're supposed to open. Oh. Other way. This one's super cool. I love Beetlejuice. Ooh, look at that. And it has the classic. Hey! Oh, Excuse me. It has the classic um, yellow writing, and I think it looks more vintage. Well, because Beetlejuice hey. was filmed a really long time ago, but um, I really wanted a Beetlejuice poster for the longest time. In the last house, I never got a chance to print a Beetlejuice poster, so. Oh, yeah. And then, I was gonna get the um, Legends of Rock and Roll, but we decided this one is cooler. And I mean, Halloween is coming up. It just, it's a lot cooler. The red. You see Jason by the boat and it's all red, which I love. Um, yeah, so those are the three posters I got. And then Kane just got some t-shirts from there. Wanna show them? If you want to. Come show them, come over here. So this is the first one he got. I think, I don't know what this brand is specifically, but. That guy, I think. Steven or Steven, who is that? No idea. Anyways, this one's really cool. Um, it's the Grim Reaper. I just need more shirts. I would wear this. We should've got matching ones. What does it say? Timmy has a visitor. I think the whole like black with just kind of like the primary colors is what stands out about the shirts. They kind of look 80s to me, don't you think? Well, it's just his whole style. It's yeah, they're like cool. 80s style type shirts, but. Kind of remind me of, as this for family, it's a cooking show, but. Uh, I've never seen it. Looks like that type of stuff. I think that's everything that I have to show. That was just in the past week of me getting all these packages. I don't know why um, things come all at once, but. Thank you to all the brands that sent me stuff, especially Killstar and Disturbia. They send me packages every time something launches. So I'm super grateful for them because then I don't have to go shopping as often. And I really like their stuff. So um, maybe if you want a video of me styling the clothes, I could do that. Um, but that's only if you want it. But that's pretty much the end of this video. I'll probably post it soon. Um, probably within the next few days. So that is it. See you in the next video.